Appeal court sacks Zamfara governor. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post her JC news update, please click on the notification bell. The Court of Appeal sitting in Abuja has sacked the governor of Zamfara State, Lawal Dauda of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, following an appeal entered by former Governor Belu Matawali. Recall that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, had after the March 18th governorship poll declared Dauda Lawal as the governor-elect, saying he garnered 377,726 votes. The incumbent governor at the time, Belo Matawali of the All Progressive Congress APC, was said to have gotten 311,976 votes. Belo approached the Zamfara State Governorship Election Petition Tribunal sitting in Togoto with a petition against Dauda's election. Matawali legal team led by Akinlola Kendi San had alleged that there was wrongful collation of results of election results, including those of Maradun local government area. He also argued that elections were not held in several wards in the state without any reason given by INEC. But the tribunal affirmed the election of Lawal while dismissing Matawali's appeal for lacking in merit. After losing his second term bid, Matawali was appointed as Minister of State Defense by President Bola Tirimbu. But he went on to appeal the verdict of the tribunal, arguing that Dauda did not score the majority of lawful vote cast during the governorship poll and that the election was inconclusive. He contended that the tribunal erroneously struck out evidence tendered by his witnesses, including several paragraphs in his petition. But the People Democratic Party countered Matawali, contending that he failed to prove his petition against Dauda's election victory. On Thursday, a three-man panel of appeal court led by Justice Oyebisi for Layemi declared, and I quote, It is our view that the order of a trial tribunal striking out several paragraphs of the appellant petition was erroneous. On the tribunal striking out the evidence, PW1 and PW17, tendered by Matawali as hearsay, the appellate court that the appellate court held that it was evidently seen from the polling unit result used by INEC that the result sheets were not signed by party agents of the appellant. Also, the appeal court held that the evidence of Matawali two witnesses, LG coalition agent contrary to the tribunal's position, are linked to the specific aspect of the appellant case. The appeal court maintained that in line with the Electoral Act, it shall not be necessary for a party who alleges non-compliance with relevant laws to call oral evidence if the exhibits show the same allegations. The appeal court observed that the document INEC relied on to declare result in Maradun local government area of Zamfara State were mutilated and as such, the same exhibits tendered by Matawali before the tribunal were not hearsay evidence. This court resolved the issue in favour of the appellant, the court held. The appeal court further held that the tribunal failed to properly evaluate the evidence brought before it and that the appellant placed credible evidence before the tribunal. The appeal court subsequently held that appellant successfully proved that Dauda was not duly elected and that the INEC results viewing portal cannot be used in collating results as done by the tribunal. The appeal is hereby allowed. The March 2023 governorship election held in Zamfara State is inconclusive and the return of Dauda is set aside. INEC is hereby directed to hold fresh elections in the Beni Magaji and Bukunyum local government area, the court held. This judgment was adopted by Justices Cordelia, former Jumbo Ofo, and Sibio Mwaka Bagi. Now... I really like putting out for this matter. You know why? It is APC versus PDP. So to me, putting my what putting putting my why I go put my mouth for inside this matter? No now. These are the two giant party. They say if two elephants they fight and I waiting go so far now. <laughs> so I don't want to make I go now. If you go separate fight, you go carry blue. Go carry face waist well up, come back. <laughs> 
or maybe they don't give you blue, give you dislocation on top of matter. We be saying no concern you. Now the thing is, if I don't even know, we don't even know what to believe in this country. Sincerely, we don't at this point. Nigerians do not know when the George is actually doing the right thing. Most especially people who are not from Zamfara State and people who did not vote. I mean, and people who, yes, and people, people who are not from Zamfara State and people who did not observe the voting day. Because believe you me, there are people who are, can be from a particular state and for reasons best known to them, they are not going to vote. They are not going to observe the voting day. They are not even going to care. They care less about what is happening on that particular voting day. So the only people, the only people you can hold on to now, what they say, are people who actually took their time, you know, come out on that particular day to cast their votes. You understand? <laughs> now the only people, and you know now, hearing from those people is like a, is like into a camera passing through the eye of a needle. Do you understand? It's difficult. The masses voice, hearing the masses voice. <laughs> Very difficult to. So right now, not only is for people go fit talk, whether truly Matawale na him win, how far Sanfara State's people is Matawale treating people fine? Is it treating people well? Do you understand? Or did the people came out in mass and said, you know what? You're not going to win the second tenure. You know? And the thing is, like I earlier said before, we do not know when. At this point, if God come as I can tell us, say, eh, a na A, <laughs> we are going to believe that A is actually Z. We will believe that A is B, A is D, that they're trying to cover up. Why? They have betrayed us time and time and time again. We don't lose that trust for wedding day. So, Vamzafara people, <laughs> I've said it before, there's this joy that comes from knowing that the people, I mean, knowing that who you voted for is actually who is coming in. I mean, to me, gifts already... A good atmosphere, a welcoming atmosphere to whoever the person is that is coming in. Unfortunately, for those that do not get the atmosphere, they don't care. They can care less. You are coming in as a, an elected governor. You did not rig elections. People came outside and voted for you. Do you understand? They believed in your work. They believed in your craft. They believed in your good conscience and your transparency, genuinity, and sincerity. And they vote for you, men. You know, there's this kind of atmosphere that guards you. You understand? People believe that, oh, my, you're going to come in again to work compared to someone who ripped this way or entered through the back door or entered through the ceiling or the window. You understand? Other than the door. There is this non welcoming atmosphere. You understand? People are like, you know, you're not going to be comfortable, but, you know, these people. They will, they will not care less. These politicians. All right. On this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.